Our objective for number three is to write the product or quotient in simplest form, stating any restrictions. We talked about excluded values, so excluded values. We're going to call them restrictions from now on. I think that's a better description of what we're looking for. Restrictions on the variable. So restrictions on the variable. Let's talk about those first. Whatever makes the denominator equal to zero. So if y plus 5 equals zero and y equals negative 5. Here we have to factor the, the denominator here to figure out the restrictions on the variable. So y minus 3, y minus 1. So restriction, uh, let's, let's do it like this. y cannot equal negative 5, y cannot equal 3, because 3 makes that factor equal to 0, and then y cannot equal 1. So that's, those are the restrictions for this particular problem. Now our objective of writing the product or quotient simplest form can be can be obtained by factoring every single one of the polynomials in both num numerator and denominator. So we see we have y minus 3 times y plus 2 over here. y squared minus 25 is the difference of squares, so we have y plus 5 times y minus 5. And now we just have to cancel any factors that are alike. Um, Looking for a y plus 5 down here, I see a y plus 5 over there. I have a y minus 3 here that fact that cancels with that y minus 3. And we don't have any y minus 1s anywhere, so we're done canceling. And so the numerator can be, uh, the, the factors that are remaining in the numerator would be the y plus 2 up on top. We also have a y minus 5. And then down below, the only factor remaining is a y minus 1. That's it. So we've written the product in simplest form, and we've identified the restrictions, and so we've reached our objective. So in the second problem here, we're going to go ahead and rewrite the numerator factored. Factoring the numerator, we see that we have a y minus 3 times a y uh, minus 2. Now, let me not get hasty here. I forgot. I want to identify the restrictions first because sometimes when I, after I uh, simplify uh, an, ex an expression, I, sometimes I forget to write down the restrictions. So let's do the restrictions first. Uh, restrictions would occur when uh, the denominator, the factors in the denominator are equal to zero. So if y cubed equals zero, that would only occur when y is, is equal to zero. So the restriction would be that y is not allowed to be equal to zero. Now when we set that factor equal to zero, we still get zero because uh, zero cubed or zero squared is zero. But don't forget, once we flip that second fraction over, division symbol means we invert and multiply. So we're going to multiply and we're going to put that 4y squared, we'll put the denominator back in the numerator, and then we're going to take this numerator here, we're going to factor it, y plus 5 times y minus 2, and again, we inverted the second fraction and we are multiplying now. But again, we have now a new denominator, and that new denominator, uh, we have to set each factor equal to 0 to find our restrictions on the variable. So y equals negative 5 would make the denominator 0, as well as if y, oops, y minus 2 equals 0, that would be only when y equals 2. So 2 is also a restriction on the variable y. Now it's time to go ahead and cancel any like factors. I have y times y times y down here. I have a y times y up here. So we're going to rewrite those factors. And we can see we can cancel one y with one y, another y with another y. We don't have a y minus 3 to cancel, but we do have a y minus 2 that we can cancel. And I'm um, looking for some space to write this problem, write the answer to this problem here. Let's go ahead and use this space here. Uh, so we're just going to rewrite every factor in the numerators that did not get canceled. This 4 didn't get canceled. The y minus 3 didn't get canceled. Down below, this y didn't get canceled, and neither did the y plus 5. So that's our simplest form. So we've met our two objectives. Simplest form, stating restrictions, and we're good to go there.